So this is a question that is related to the Idaho data set for getting and cleaning data uh, Coursera, the week one quiz for that and this is a question that was on a predecessor course but not part of the current course so I've just wrote it in as in my notes as an optional, optional question so just something that you could practice with and just learn more about R and working with data so it is an optional question related which little typo there related to question one and two and it used the data from the previous question so this is the Idaho data set and how many households have three bedrooms and four rooms in total how many have four uh, two bedrooms and five rooms and how many have two bedrooms and seven rooms altogether so essentially what we're going to do here is we like I got this is a bit you do yourself you'd have to look through the code book and find out what are the relevant variables there now the relevant variables are actually RMS for rooms and BDS for bedrooms so that's really all you have to do uh, read the code book and find out what you need for that now uh, so RMS and BDS is what we find so I'm going to just make a quick cross tabulation there and I'm just going to uh, take uh, the first part of it and let's control L that and let's just have a look at it here in R I have it loaded in R already as Idaho data but you could do it a different way so that's all well and good the, that table is a little bit hard to read so what you could do there is actually just specify what the rows mean and what the columns mean uh, just to make it a little bit easier to read so there's an extra argument on the table command DNN which just gives you the row name uh, the uh, sort of descriptor for the row and descriptor for the column so I'm just going to and you specify it as a list so let's ha have a go at that I'm just going to copy and paste it in uh, but you should be able to read it from hang on a sec now there we go I'm just going to scroll over here so you can just see what I've added in here uh, capital D sorry DNN list uh, rooms and bedrooms okay and that what that has done is that it, it specifies the a descriptor for this column here so this is like four rooms this row here five rooms and so on and BDS is bedrooms zero bedrooms one bedroom two bedrooms and so on so now we're able to uh, easily work with this table and it, it, it makes sense and it's easy to read so now we can just answer the questions uh, how many households have three bedrooms and four uh, rooms altogether so three bedrooms and four rooms altogether 148 how many have two bedrooms and five rooms in total so two bedrooms and five in total 368 uh, finally how many have two bedrooms and seven rooms in total so two bedrooms and seven in total uh, 49 so that was the answer there those are the answers there that's how you'd read that table essentially the key thing there is about using table to create a little pivot table and DNN just make the the uh, the table easier to read so that you can read very easily like I've just done there so there we have it there okay that ends the presentation